Hi everybody, I am a gamer mom, and today we're back with Night in the Woods. So, um, last video we, uh, alright, we messed up Bee's party. But it seems like she forgave us because we're our proximity friends. Alright, May, upsie daisy. <clears throat> Hello, May. Big set. Pickaxe. Add it. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Oh, wait, message. Pick your fight. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the Black Tones next week. Nice. All right. <clears throat> it's a new away message. That's why it popped up. Gotcha. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back. I saw this again. The darling picture of you guys. <clears throat> Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Well, okay. Well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom. It's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems. And the house. And I'm just so sorry. You, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay. Really, we'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. <clears throat> you too. Aw, May May. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you, too. <clears throat> More. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. Nope, oh, that's it. Okay. wonder if I somehow miss getting my dad to unlock that... Grr, to unblock the crawl space. Oh, God. What do you want? That's not a very nice way to talk to your aunt. Hello to you too, May. Well, wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. A medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... Doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah. Thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Evening already? Bye, Aunt Mulcop. Selmers. Hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. 
Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Yeah! The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. Ah, oh, I like that. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. I like Selmer's. Too pure. So sweet. Leaves! 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 Okay. You gotta go talk to B. Gotta talk to B. Gotta make it up to her. B! Oh, sorry, pigeon. B! I'm gonna stand on the counter like a twerp this time. We're gonna talk to her normal. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Well, that's that, apparently. Nice talking to you, B. Sorry, pigeons. Yo, Angus. You in here? There's the deer again. It's Angus! Angus, hi! So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. Yes, you did indeed! I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah! I'm excited! Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff could be our podcast. About ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts. This is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. So cute. Oh, I love the interactions between the two of them. The park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with the frisbee ones. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds, all kind of weird stuff back up in the cat, back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Okay. I wait for Angus. I'm a nice friend. Hang in with Angus.
I don't know why May thinks she needs to run everywhere she goes. Chill, May. Chill. Reminds me of my son. Puff. Puff. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? <clears throat> this is like a lime kiln, I think. Oh, cool. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You, like, do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh! Limestone's weird because mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Wow. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh, let's go, Angus. This one's a short hill. You'll be good. It's another kiln. I found a kiln. Look, I found a kiln. I found it. Puff, puff. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No prop. Huff, huff. So, if this place was underwater... Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. Not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird. Because things are so boring nowadays. <clears throat> to think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here... There's always more weird stuff that happened. Find out. Find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Found another kiln. Look, it's another kiln. Puff, puff, puff. Wheeze. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, huff. Sorry. Puff, puff. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature, rock, or whatever. Lime, puff, stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. Ancient creatures would eat us. No problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay. You ready to roll? Yeah. We're almost to the top. This part's not so steep, Angus. You'll be okay. Come on. <coughs> you got this, dude. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here, right? I lost count. <coughs> Weird. Used to be open back then. <coughs> hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in a possum massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. <coughs> Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. Some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's, like, a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's only... I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. 
Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Gotta wait for Angus, man. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can't see the town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So, what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I could never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? We spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? That's uh, not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. Wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait. Wait. Are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazakov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. They are. I got one when I was a kid. Loved it. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or, at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone, really, since I was, like, 14 or 15. Does she mind? <clears throat> she pretends not to. Go there? No. Okay. Wanted to make a big one. A whale? It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. 
You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. <clears throat> they didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You can start. A bell with an eye. <clears throat> okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. <clears throat> looking at you. Okay, that's a... Uh... I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough. It's kind of always looking at all of uh, at all of us, right? Ah, damn. Hmm. Wonder what this one's gonna be. I like this. Actually took an astrology class in high school. Loved it. Aww. <clears throat> it's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god. Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I used to call him... <clears throat> Not gonna say that when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond, diamond from the king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah. Don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. People have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know how much I have ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, uh, my dad didn't like me. Aw, and my mom didn't either. Oh my gosh. And, uh, like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now, haha. She, like shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me oh my god Angus I didn't know at all that's awful she locked me in there for like a day at a time sometimes or overnight so I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors <clears throat> or unlatch the door didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. <clears throat> like, this was something bad I was doing. <sighs> Been there. Not my parents, but... Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. 
Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their butts? Like, that experience, I can F some crap up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Ditto. Haha, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural BS. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So, like... I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like, the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I, uh, believe that stars exist. And that people put the wheel there. Whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern fighters. And finders, and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. <clears throat> Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later... Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a crap about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit! Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did. May no. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Rawr! Angus, be okay. No. You leave my Angus alone. Please! 
Please. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. Well, that was it. That was the ghost. Or uh, it was uh, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Uh, it wasn't too far from there. Why does nope? wrong. Do you need me to pull over? Ugh, my head. Jeez. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get you home. No! Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on? I have no idea. But there's a ghost, and it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are, like, 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have, like, sudden stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out. That makes you stress out. I get migraines. May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. Going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court. It's late, dude. <clears throat> what do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts. But I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Th thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up round up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's have some ghosts. I haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. How have I never been back up here? Fences work. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. Uh, uh, we gotta wait until we're all back in line. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. This friend group rocks. I love this friend group. They're so cute. All of them are cute. Like, I think I like one better than the others. And then another one does something so cute. And I'm like, no, they're my favorite. And then, yeah. They're all my favorite. All of them. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. 
how they even get all of this back up in here. Shutter. What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So. It's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude! Hey, May! I'm fine. <clears throat> we should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Go hunt. Woo. Fun. Like, railroad cars? Oh. They're becoming silhouettes. It's getting mucho dark. Very, very dark. What the? Huh? Oh my god. No! No! <laughs> ah, hell. He's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys! Ah, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait! Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew at the moment you screwed the whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a gosh darn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Uh, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't worry about, you know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. Not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. To Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. Alright, Dave, you hold him. Sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice, and I'd appreciate it if you'd stop laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Hold still. This will go easier if... Alright, he's free. Lerv. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... I... Oh, hell. Let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. Oh, God. His bone's sticking out. <gasps> what the... Crap. May? May Borowski? Run! Oh, was I supposed to jump there? Supposed to jump there, got it. Okay, okay. Did I make it? Achievement unlocked the end. Part four, the end of everything? Um. 
we're actually uh, going to save here. Best cliffhanger I could possibly imagine, right? Anyways, if you guys are enjoying this, leave a like down below. If you have anything to say, go ahead and leave me a comment. And like always, don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.